All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about our next test, which is ratio test. Okay, this is the sixth test out of our seven. All right, we're almost done. So this test, okay, this can by itself prove absolute convergence. So it's actually pretty important. And uh, you'll, you'll learn later on when we start looking at all the tests at once to try to figure out, you know, if, if a series converges or diverges, when in doubt, you're going to use this test. Okay, ratio test is huge. So what you're going to have is, is, is you're going to have let the sum of a, or the series a sub n be a series with non-zero terms. Okay, and here is what the ratio test says. So if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus 1, so now you're just plugging in n plus 1 for your series instead of n, okay, if you do that, you put it over a sub n, if you take the absolute value of that, put it in that limit, and it's less than 1, well, then you know that that series is absolutely convergent, okay? If it's greater than 1, it's divergent. If it equals one, then your test is inconclusive and it's, you need to move on to a different test. Okay, so it's actually pretty simple. Okay, all you're taking is that limit. All right, you're, you're taking the absolute value of a sub n plus one. Again, that's just plugging in n plus one for n and you're putting it over your series, a sub n. Okay, and if you, you see if it's less than one, greater than one or equals one and you're pretty much able to tell it's it's very well it's a little more rare that it's inconclusive it's almost always you know one of these two okay so really useful test and let's take a look at an example so our example problem we need to prove the sum from n equals zero to infinity of two to the n over n factorial is absolutely convergent now before we even get started here, I want to make sure that you know what a factorial actually is, okay? So we'll just kind of review that just real quick here because you're going to see factorials a lot with ratio tests, okay? That's pretty much the, the go-to test when you see a factorial, okay? And trust me, there's a lot of times where you're going to see a factorial. If you have something like 5 factorial, all that's really saying is that you're doing 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, okay? So you're doing that number times all the numbers that come before it until you get to one. If you have a six factorial, that's going to be six times five times four times three times two times one. All right. Now this is important to see because If you have a six factorial, well, that's just six times four times three times two times one. Now, six factorial, that's also equal to six times five factorial. Okay, and that's gonna be something interesting that we're about to see here. Okay, so just kind of hold that thought in your head for just a little bit. So now we can start with our ratio test. We take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one over a sub n, okay? So let's start with that. Take the limit as n approaches infinity of, so we're plugging in n plus one for n. So we have a two to the n plus one over n plus one factorial. And that's going to be over our a sub n, which is just 2 to the n over n factorial. All right. Now, we don't need the absolute value signs here because everything here that you see, of course, is going to be positive. Okay. So we can kind of just have those go away in the next term. Now, we can also put this up into, we can put everything up so it's not a, uh, a fraction on top of a fraction here. We have the limit as n approaches infinity of this is going to be a 2 to the n plus 1. This will be over 2 to the n. And I'll kind of separate this here. You're going to have a n factorial over an n plus 1 factorial. I should put that factorial on the outside of the parentheses. So first, 
of course, we just have to subtract the exponents here. That's our exponent properties. We know that, okay, we have the limit down below. As n approaches infinity of 2, just going to be 2, okay? Because, of course, it's going to be n plus 1 minus n. That just gives you 2 to the first power. So we have that 2 down here. Now, what about this n factorial over n plus 1 factorial? Now, here's why I told you to hold that thought from the 5 factorial to, uh, and, that, and the 6 factorial. Okay, now if we did that, okay, if, if, we, if we plugged in 5 for n, okay, then what we have here is a 5 factorial over a 6 factorial. And remember I said that we can write, rewrite 6 factorial as 6 times 5 factorial. So technically, this is just 1 over 6 if you plug in 5 here, okay? So since we have n's, it's, it's literally the same thing. We have an n factorial over an n plus 1 factorial, and really that's just the same thing as n plus 1 times n factorial, okay? The n factorials, they cancel out, and you're just left with 1 over n plus 1. So that's what you get in this limit down below here. Okay, so now we just have to figure out our limit here. We have a 2 times 1 over n plus 1. Now as n approaches infinity, you're going to get an infinitely large denominator, and that means that this limit is going to go to 0. Okay, and 0 is less than 1, which means that this series is absolutely convergent by the ratio test. All right, and we're going to do more example problems in the next video, but that is going to do it for this one. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.